The jungle is full of mysteries. Although the researchers are currently trying to unravel the mysteries that lie dormant under the impenetrable canopy of leaves, using state-of-the-art technology, the expert's exciting search for clues is still in its infancy. In fact, so far only a small part of the life there has been deciphered. Many animals and plants of the rainforest are still completely unknown to us. Today we want to share with you some disturbing discoveries and tales that give us a glimpse of what incredible mysteries really lurk in the jungle. You want to know why a bizarre photo is currently making waves? And why researchers believe that the reports about a cruel jungle monster have a core of truth? Then stick around until the end to find out. Also, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more great videos. Unknown Creature Pictures sometimes say more than a thousand words, and yet some photos need a lot of explaining. Accordingly, in the black and white photograph, we see a person, or rather a being, that differs significantly from all life forms known to us. While the creature wears the worn but not uncommon clothing of a man, her oversized angular skull immediately causes a great deal of guesswork. The photo was reportedly discovered in an old album made by an early 20th century jungle explorer. But who ultimately took the photo and where exactly it was taken is unclear. Some users believe that we are not dealing with a bizarre testimony at all, but simply a modern fake. Other users have noticed that the individual captured in the picture bears a close resemblance to the Moy statues of Easterland, not entirely without reason, if you ask us. But these are not the only strange pictures that the discovered album is said to have contained. So elsewhere, we see some strange structures that look like a mix of trees, sci-fi spaceships, and a giant jellyfish. But what do you think? Are the recordings really nothing more than bold fakes? Or are they pictorial proof that something slumbers deep in the heart of the jungle that we would never have suspected? Let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comments below. Mapping Gwari Normally, when most explorers hear tales of mythical monsters roaming the jungle, they'll shrug it off with boredom. In the case of the legendary Mapinguari, however, things are a little different. Experts David Oren and Ilton De Salva are absolutely convinced that the creature really exists, but not necessarily in the way the Cairo Indians have long believed it is told. According to old legends, the Mapinguari lives in a cave in the Brazilian rainforest, which he only leaves at night. After dark, the hairy creature goes in search of food, no distinction between plants, animals, and even humans. But how is it that biologists and anthropologists believe in the authenticity of these eerie reports? Well, that's because they don't see the Mapinguari as a mythical beast, but a modern giant sloth. Officially, these giants, which were six meters tall and weighed several tons, have been extinct for 10,000 years. Regarding their living fossil thesis, Oren and De Salva point to some exciting clues. Thus, the footprints attributed to Mapinguari match surprisingly well the fossilized footprints of giant sloths. In addition, during their detours into the Cairo tribal area, the researchers repeatedly heard strange nocturnal animal cries that could not be assigned to any known species. In addition, the tribe members said they had tried several times to kill the Mapinguari, but the robust body easily withstood the bullets. Indeed, analysis of giant sloth pelts suggests that the dense nature of the bones would have made it possible to protect internal organs from projectiles. Although several expeditions are currently planned to track down Mapaguari, the search for the giant sloth is anything but easy. It involves combing through a 6.5 million square kilometer area that is not even half explored. The fact that the Mapaguari only comes out at night shouldn't exactly increase the chances of success either. Bees Wrap If the folklore of the Jahat people of Malaysia is anything to go by, Bees Wrap, which translates to pig spirit, lives deep in the jungle at the roots of the Pokok Maka tree. This so-called pig spirit is always particularly active when the trees are bearing fruit. Anyone who comes up with the idea of collecting the fruit will face the wrath of the mystical spirit. Bees Wrap splashes his victims with his poisonous saliva, causing them to become seriously ill. In principle, everything that leaves the monster's body seems to be extremely dangerous. 
even those who accidentally come into contact with the monster's excrement will find themselves in the hospital bed, foaming at the mouth. Chippewa According to reports from the indigenous people of Zambia, the Chipikwe looks like a cross between an elephant and a rhinoceros. Said to be a native to Lake Bangalulus, this creature is characterized by a huge hairless body adorned with a single brilliant white horn. Although most researchers believe that the stories about the Chipikwe are simply an old myth, the creature is said to have been sighted several times. In addition, tracks and noises are repeatedly registered in the area that simply cannot be classified in a known context. But be careful, anyone who dares to enter the Chipikwa's home will feel his merciless fury. The monster is said to have capsized many canoes and killed the occupants. Hippos don't fare much better in this regard. Chapitwe kills them by mauling their throats. Maricoxi Who or what are the Maricoxi, and does this strange tribe even exist? In fact, there have been many reports in the past about the ape-like creatures said to be at home in the unexplored regions of the Amazon rainforest. One of the most famous Maricoxi incidents is said to have been experienced by the famous explorer Percy Fawcett. Before he disappeared forever in the jungle on his search for the legendary City of Z, he and his men are said to have come across some Maricoxi in 1914. Although the larger-than-average creatures looked extremely wild and aggressive, they were equipped with bows and arrows. To all appearances, however, they were unable to speak. Instead, they seemed to be communicating through grunting sounds. When Percy and his companions were in danger of being attacked, they are said to have fired a few warning shots from their guns. Panicked by the thunderous noise, the creatures then disappeared into the undergrowth. Boyuna Boyuna, also called Cobra Grande, describes one of the most well-known legends in the Amazon basin. As we can guess from the name, the creature is a giant snake. And what a! According to the myth, Boyuna is a proud 200 meters long and 10 meters wide. Her gigantic eyes are reminiscent of oversized searchlights that shine in a variety of colors and have a hypnotic effect. Supposedly, the boa snake's bestial stench is enough to make a person faint. In order not to be recognized, Boyuna buries himself in underwater holes. Sensational Discoveries Okay, admittedly, whether and in what form the creatures presented so far really exist is anything but undisputed. However, there is no question that there are still countless animals and plants slumbering in the rainforest that are currently completely unknown to us. Let's just take a quick look at the official statistics. Last year alone, 224 new species were discovered in the Mekong catchment area. In addition to 155 plants, this also included 35 reptiles, 17 frogs, 16 fish, and even a new mammal. Although the word new is not quite correct in this case. In fact, we have known about the existence of the Popa Langer for quite some time, but this species was previously thought to be extinct. After noting some telltale bone finds at Mount Popa in Myanmar, researchers decided to set up camera traps in the area. With success, monkeys soon ran through the picture and taught the experts of the past a lesson. Bicolor Gecko at first glance, it seems as if the newly discovered gecko's upper body fell into a yellow-orange paint bucket. However, this unusual two-part coloration has a sophisticated background. In this way, the scaled reptile is difficult to distinguish from the background of moss and stones. The spadefoot frog is now also part of the known terrestrial fauna. This new species, which fascinates us with its orange crescent-shaped iris, is native to the highlands of Cambodia and Vietnam, but it is also threatened again. The natural habitat is becoming smaller and smaller as a result of deforestation. More finds a well-known proverb says, all that glitters is not gold. In relation to the newly discovered plant species, this idiom would probably read as follows. Not everything that looks pretty also smells good, because the stink beetle flower actually stinks Northeast Thailand literally up to the sky. But how is it that some plants give off such a disgusting smell? Well, this is primarily because the plants do not want to please us humans, but the animals that pollinate them. So what smells just disgusting to us is a beguiling scent to some bugs, flies, and bats. 
Other exciting new discoveries from the past year include the crocodile newt, the snail snake, the cardinal fish, and the rowing frog. As exciting as these finds are, they represent just a tiny tip of the animal iceberg. It is estimated that there are still over 6 million unknown species out there, and who knows, maybe there's something hidden among them, like a mapinguari or a relative of the maricoxi. Mysterious Rings who created the mysterious ring trenches in the Amazon rainforest? And why, similar to the Nazca Lines of Peru, we have no idea what these structures are really all about. Some researchers believe the objects were used as burial sites, while others believe they have been used as defensive structures. Particularly controversial is the theory that these are ancient UFO landing sites, but even the earthly attempts at an explanation raise more questions than answers. Where did early humans get the necessary means to put on the rings? Do we need to completely rethink the history of the Amazon? Even if it will probably take some time before these mysteries are solved, it is already clear that the structures discovered so far represent only the tip of the archaeological iceberg. How many other traces are still slumbering in the densely overgrown jungle regions, no one can currently foresee. Stone Balls when the United Fruit Company began clearing the Costa Rican jungle in the early 1930s, workers came across strange stone balls among the charred plants. Rumors soon spread that the artifacts were filled with gold, but subsequent demolitions proved the opposite. Over 350 of these strange objects have been recovered so far. While some balls are only a few centimeters in size, others are over 2 meters in diameter and weigh 15 tons. The researchers found pottery around 2,000 thousand years old near some of the stone spheres, but other accompanying finds were more than 1,000 years younger. The artifacts were probably created by the ancestors of the Baruka Indians, but these theses cannot be proven. Equally unresolved is the question of their intended use. The objects may have had a religious background. In addition, we do not know how people at that time managed to work out such perfect forms and then transport the structures, some of which weighed several tons, to their intended places. The City of Giants It's 2012 when the ruins of an ancient site are discovered in the jungles of Ecuador, but the relics overgrown with plants were anything but normal. In detail, we are dealing here with extremely massive structures, some of which extend up to 80 meters in height. At the top of this massive pyramidal structure is a flat plain of polished stone. The experts assume that this place once served as a sacrificial altar. The enigmatic settlement is also known as the City of Giants because of the impressive structures, each of which consists of huge blocks weighing several tons. And indeed, some people believe that the site was not created by ordinary people, but by gigantic creatures. This theory is also supported by some discovered tools. These were simply too heavy and too cumbersome to be used by ordinary people. Do you think that incarnate giants once roamed our globe? Let us know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Stonehead the story of the Stonehead of Guatemala is a curiosity in itself. Originally discovered in the jungle in the 1950s, the Caucasian facial features of the colossal skull posed a great mystery even then. After all, the appearance did not fit into the corresponding region at all. Decades passed and the enigmatic structure fell more and more into oblivion. When a certain Oscar Padilla finally rediscovered the stone head, it was in a pitiful state. The countless holes indicated that the object had been used by rebel troops for target practice. Because the head cannot be assigned to any known pre-Hispanic culture, some researchers believe it represents the work of an ancient lost civilization. Particularly creative spirits stretch the explanation attempts even a bit further. In truth, the existence of the stone skull proves that the ancient peoples were in contact with extraterrestrial intelligences. What do you think about the mystical beings and exciting discoveries we showed you today? Which creatures do you think are still hidden in the thicket of the rainforests? We are already looking forward to your comments. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked our video. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.